Putting together my desk setup for this year took a lot of thought and planning. I designed my new workspace in 3D first because it allowed me to see how everything would fit together. I kept it fairly clean and minimal with as few cables as possible visible. Hi, I'm Nuno Silva and let's start with the foundation of this setup, the desks. On my main setup, I have an IKEA Ikbaken countertop that works as my main desktop. This one has walnut finish, which I really love. The walnut aesthetic gives the space a cozy feeling while keeping it minimal. It's sitting on an electric standing desk frame from Fizivo. Fizivo was kind enough to send me this to try it out, and I must say it's fantastic. It's simple to put together, and it only took me about 20 minutes to assemble. The package includes these ties, which are essential if you are like me and want to keep all your cables hidden while maintaining a more minimalist aesthetic. It features a controller that allows adjustment for different heights for different users. And in the menu, you can set up vibration mode to remind you when you need to stand up. And yes, if you are into LED lights, you can program the Aurora controller with different color presets. This standing desk has a height range of nearly 24 inches to 50 inches and a weight capacity of 125 kilos. As for the stability, when it's in the standing position, it's less stable, but nothing major. You can have a look at me typing in a sitting position and now in a standing position. On my right side, I have another setup, which has an IKEA Ekbak and countertop rocking another standing desk frame. This countertop I have had for some time is old oak and I feel it still matches my new walnut desk. Along with the standing desk frame from Fizibo, I have this balance board. It has some texture on it and it works kinda like a massage for your feet. And at the same time you can exercise a bit by keeping balance on it. One thing that takes up a lot of desk space is the monitor stand. So I chose to mount my monitors to the desk using a heavy-duty monitor arm. I have one for each monitor, which makes it more flexible when fine-tuning the position. I have two Dell 25-inch QHG monitors in my main setup. They are factory calibrated and I got both of the same brand, so I have color accuracy for 3D rendering, image post-processing and video editing. On the back of the main monitor, I attach the light bar, which helps reduce eye strain and gives a nice ambient light to the room. And powering this setup, it's my PC with a Ryzen 5900X processor, 64GB of RAM, and an NVIDIA RTX 3090 with 24GB. Since my work is mainly 3D rendering using real-time applications, a strong GPU is really a necessity. I often get asked about which laptop to buy, but that only makes sense if you have to travel a lot, since usually they are more costly, and with a desktop you can easily upgrade parts, making it more affordable. On my second setup, I have an LG 29-inch ultra-wide monitor. Since this setup is only used for video rendering and video editing from time to time, one monitor is more than enough. On this PC, I still have an old Ryzen 5 2600X, but I upgraded the graphics card to an NVIDIA 3080. When compared to my old GPU, this gave me an immediate huge boost. On top of my main monitor, I have a BenQ light bar, which helps to reduce the high strain on my eyes. You can control the light with this simple knob and set it to different color temperatures, depending on the time of the day. It's quite practical and since it's sitting on top of the monitor, it helps maintain the clean aesthetic. In addition to the light bar, I have an RGB LED strip light from TP-Link, which creates nice ambient light and helps to reduce eye strain. On top of the light bar, I have a Logitech Full HD webcam, which I use mostly for client meetings. After taking inspiration for many desk setup videos and seeing different desk shelves, I asked the local carpenter to build a custom one, and this is the end result. On top of the desk, I added a walnut desk shelf, which matches perfectly with the walnut desk. If you really want to keep everything clean and reduce clutter, this is really worth it, since it's really great to hide things like a notebook, an iPad, pens, or even your phone. Moving on to the peripherals, I have a Logitech MX Vertical. This is a vertical mouse, which can be strange for some in the beginning, but this helps to keep the arm in the most natural position, reducing wrist pain. 
and it has a nice design, which is a plus. As for the keyboard, I have a wireless Logitech K570, which I'll be replacing soon with a mechanical keyboard, but more on that in a future video about my desk accessories. There is no doubt that using a desk mat actually makes working at the desk a lot more pleasant, as it not only protects my desk surface, but also helps to tie together my keyboard and mouse while I'm working. Kinda in the same way a rug ties furniture together in a room, a desk mat does the same. I picked this light blue synthetic leather desk mat to contrast with a walnut desk. On the side of my desk I have a Blue Yeti microphone with a pop filter, which I use to record my videos for YouTube or my courses, and I have it mounted to this boom arm, which is great for hiding it away when I'm done using it. When it comes to audio, I'm mostly using my speakers. I have the Edifier RT 1280T speakers, which for the price have pretty decent audio quality. They have this wood finish, which I think ties really well with my space. They also have a front removable cover that you can choose based on what looks best for you. In my case, I prefer to have them stripped. But when it comes to listening clear to audio when I'm editing my videos, I use my Sony noise cancelling wireless headphones. They have super crisp audio and I can connect them to two devices by Bluetooth. I have them connected to my computer and my phone. So whenever I'm using them and I get a call, it automatically switches to the phone. I have them hooked to the bottom of the desk with this little hook that came with a Fisivo standing desk. It's really cool, this way I can keep them off my desk, keeping it clutter free. I'm currently using a share from Fisivo, it's called the C42 Ergonomic Share. It has different height levels and the armrest can be adjusted into several different positions as well. The lumbar adjustment is great and this mesh material allows for better breathing. The one area I don't like as much is the seat, which is quite long. And at least for me, after some time, it's not so comfortable. So for this, I guess I'm still going back to my old IKEA chair, which has seat adjustment and works great for me. I replaced the IKEA chair wheels with these rollerblade ones, which are far less aggressive on wood floors and allow me to move it easily even on my carpet, which has a thick layer of fur. I have a USB port and card reader attached to the bottom of my desk for easy access. And underneath the desk, I have these strips that allow me to attach all the cables to the underside of the desk, making it look super clean. I have connected the power strips with some tape to the underside of the desk, and since it's a standing desk, all the cables can go up and down with it. I've left links to everything mentioned in the video in the description below. And if you haven't already, you may also like checking out my YouTube lighting setup video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.